What's up, y'all? It's your boy ADNS all day with a video game review. I'm um, finna do a quick little review on Tales from the Borderlands. A Tale Tale. A Tale Tale. <laughs> game series for the Xbox One. Um, I don't really see a lot of people talk about this game much. Because, you know, most people, they probably play, you know, the RPG shooter Borderlands. Borderlands 2, the pre-sequel, which I do love. I'm a huge fan of the Borderlands series, period. That's why I bought, like, all the Borderlands games, including this one. Now, this one is their latest installment at the time before they released the VR. And I just want to do a real quick review on this game to explain what it's really about. Now, the reason why I think this game did not get as much hype as the Borderlands, you know, number one and two is because it's not a shooter. This game is all cinematics. This game, well, not all, but it's pretty much like a heavy rain type of game, honestly. It, it pretty much is. But what's cool about it is it has its own little spin. It has a spin on Borderlands because Borderlands is one of the best series I've ever seen in my life, honestly. When it comes to the characters, how they look, how they talk, how the story progresses, the comedy, the Easter eggs, and all the stuff. Like, I, I love this. It's definitely one of my favorites. But one problem about Borderlands was it didn't really have a strong story. Number one did. Number two was better. It's still not as good as what it could be when it comes to other RPGs we play, but two, they did work on it, and that's why I felt like they made this one, because it was like for those who really want to see a story, but it's still Borderlands, you know, it's still con connected to the series, it's just not a shooter. Now, besides the storyline, you, what you really do in the game is really you just got to make a lot of choices, and you got to make them really quick, like really really fast sometimes some are long some go quick and that's what you do and based off what you say and what you do is what happens it's a lot of characters in this game too that you got to meet and work with and the way the game builds up towards the end is actually pretty cool because it really is based off what you do and who you were with and what you did um, there's also quick action commands in this game. Like, during a lot of story parts, there do be a lot of parts where you gotta hurry up, move the analog stick, or you gotta press a button. So they do have that in this game as well. Most of them are pretty easy, honestly. Um, it's a couple of them that might get you a little bit that you might move too slow on. You can die in this game. Even though dying in this game is kind of rare to me, but it's possible. I've seen it. Um, it's a lot of other cool stuff about the game. You do get to play with these two main characters, Fiona and Reese. And their relationship is very interesting. And they come from two different, like, sides of the table. But they are, but they ended up with each other, you know. And their story is amazing. Their characters are amazing. Um, what else can I say? Controls are pretty good. Pretty simplistic. Music is great. This game has great music. Great. Most of the Borderlands games did have pretty good music. Um, the graphics are pretty good. This is probably the best looking Borderlands game I've ever seen, honestly. Um, it's the newest one, you know, and it do look pretty good, like, compared to the older ones. Even though the older ones do look nice to me too, but the graphics in this and the characters and the cell shading really stands out to me in this game. I see they gave it a 10 out of 10, I see. Now, I wouldn't give this game a 10 out of 10 though, because there's certain parts about the game I felt like could have been a little better in the way like, I mean, it is cool how they do the chapters and how they got it set up because they got to tell the story, but maybe they could have added a little more or maybe they could have put it more together but it was it was really good though but something else I didn't like about the game I did not like how a lot of the time not a lot it doesn't happen a lot but sometimes you get to parts where you gotta walk around and you gotta look for stuff and you actually can have an inventory but the part I don't like about that was is that it's kind of boring those parts overall were boring and they wasn't really like puzzle solving worthy like at least make me solve a real puzzle i mean maybe a little bit but honestly you just look around like it, those parts really kind of were boring to me a little bit because they were so easy they weren't really challenging really 
and it wasn't much exploring. I honestly felt like when they did the story, it was much better because the story is what, what sells this game. And um, also, like I said, it's also the story also has action commands, and I find that to be more fun than when you actually move the character around. But again, it doesn't happen all the time like that. So what else can I say about this game? This game is not worth that much, man. If you want to pick it up, I definitely say do it. Because you're not even going to spend a lot of money to get a game you might actually play to the very end. I did. You know, I beat this game and I loved it, you know. I really did. I mean, it's, is it the best story I've ever seen? No, but it's definitely good for what it is. It's something to remember. I'll put it like that. Like, I I don't think I'm going to really forget this story too much, honestly. And, um... On the scale, this game also has replayability, and and it also tells you online. They tell you what other people have done and what they've chosen. So when you do things like when you finish the game or when you finish chapters, they'll say like, "Oh, this percentage of people picked this. This percentage of people did that," and that's kind of cool to see too. Like, damn, I like sometimes you might do things that most people just really just didn't do. You know, this is definitely one of those games you can have a, a good laugh with, too. I'm not even going to lie. But on a scale of 1 to 10, I really would get this game like a 7.5 to an 8. I don't really want to give it an 8 because it, it could have been more and better. But it's so good that I would give it a 7.75. That's how good it is. 7.75. It's higher than a 7. But it's lower than an 8. So, and again, I don't hear many people talk about this game. It's only a few I have, and I feel like people are missing out. Like, if you love the Borderlands series, or if you like games like Heavy Rain or something like that, this is something you definitely should check out and not ignore. Because, trust me, you we all know shooting the guns and collecting the loot is where it's at. Like, in Borderlands, that's like, that is the funnest part. But a good story is sometimes always worth a watch and like the video comment yeah it is rated m but that's all borderlands games and i'll see you later peace out